Hi guys, I'm back with my weekly sports review. A lot has happened in the world of sports. So first things first. Um, first, I'll uh, put up my views and say my comments about the cricket World Cup. Uh, uh, as uh, I had uh, said in my previous uh, broadcasts and. Uh, uh, was uh, the big uh, worry and the big fear was that the Indian middle order has not been tested yet and uh, we were lacking one specialist batsman and that was proved right and uh, New Zealand exploited that although a very valiant fight back by Jadeja but uh, it hurts because frankly uh, India was the best team India no doubt was the best team in the World Cup the most balanced team except that middle order lacked one specialist batsman which I don't know why they didn't pick. Anyways, uh, there are uh, better brains there who, I mean, can play three or four wicket keepers in the team. But So that was that. And uh, nice to see England uh, uh, play so convincingly in a knockout stage. So definitely there is a mindset change in mindset of the England team. And definitely the new skipper has to take a lot of credit for that. And uh, the new team, and I think they are the outright favourites going into the final with New Zealand. So that was regarding the Cricket World Cup and uh, then next I'll come to Copa America. Now seriously, the Copa America, the refereeing was, the refereeing was uh, horrendous and uh, not to take anything away from the Brazilian team because they were the most consistent team result-wise in the in the Copa America. But again, the refereeing was uh, very horrible and who knows what would have happened if they had given that, you know, that, those penalties because we know that football is a game of little bit here and there and the results change like that. But Argentina really played well in the last their, their last two matches and uh, it seems like they are coming up uh, well as a team and uh, I think uh, you know, they really played well and they, they, they gave Brazil a run for the money. And um, so that was that and um, you know, full marks to Peru also for you know reaching where they reached and uh, you know playing above their you know swinging above their weight. <coughs> uh, uh, I could not uh, catch much of the WWE action uh, this week, uh, but whatever uh, little I caught, uh, uh, I mean, uh, there were some effects of uh, people saying that Paul Heyman coming and Eric Bischoff coming. Uh, I didn't find any such, uh, you know, major changes or major storyline upheavals. Maybe it will come over a period of time. But uh, definitely WWE creatives uh, have a lot to do and they are definitely lacking in the, some kind of a creative department. And uh, so definitely, but I'm looking forward to extreme rules because some matches are uh, very good and I would really like to see those matches. And I personally think that there are going to be some title changes there in extreme rules. So, and I'm looking forward to Bray Wyatt's debut also at extreme rules. I think that will happen at extreme rules. Uh, next coming to Wimbledon, uh, I mean, the way Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal and Djokovic have been playing is, is, is I mean, again, unimaginable and it is mm, particularly Federer. And I'm looking forward to Nadal versus Federer semi-final. And, uh, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a tribute to both of them and also I'm looking forward to, to seeing Serena Williams win once more. So that was, this was my weekly sports review. Thank you so much.